Let's dig, dig, dig and add custom tools to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we're back until everyone's more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding a custom set of tools to our project over here. So this is going to be a custom sword, pickaxe, shovel, axe, and even a hoe. That's going to be very interesting indeed. And for this, we will actually need to go through a few steps because it is... I would say a little bit more complicated than some of the other things that we've done so far, but nothing too major. Because the first thing we're going to need is actually, we will need some tags, crazily enough. Now, previously, what we've seen is in our generated folder, actually, because we no longer have a data folder manually made, we now have, we have the Minecraft tags right here, which is the mineable tag. So what defines basically the specific type of tool that we can mine things with and the tier that things can be mined with, right? So needs diamond tool, needs iron tool, and there would also be a needs stone tool tag. And this we will now make ourselves for our custom tool tier. So we're going to have a public static final tag key of type block over here. And this is going to be the needs underscore Alexandrite underscore tool equal to the create tag method. And that's going to be called needs Alexandrite underscore tool. And we will have a second one that is actually even more important. And this one is going to be the incorrect for underscore Alexandrite underscore tool equal to the create tag method again. And here, of course, the same name, just all lowercase in this instance, Alexandrite underscore tool. Because the way that it works nowadays is when you define a tier, you basically, quote unquote, copy a tier from vanilla, right? So in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that our Alexandra tier is round about the same tier level as iron. Then via our own custom needs Alexandra tool, we can still add our own items to this tier that, for example, maybe, maybe that iron can't mine, but then our Alexandra tool can mine. One of the examples here could, for example, be the raw alexandrite block which usually could only be mined with diamond but let's say oh no, no alexandrite could also mine this particular block and we can add it right here and the incorrect for alexandrite tool basically says hey these are all of the blocks that actually can't be mined with alexandrite this is a change in 121 it is a little bit more complicated than previously however with this incorrect for x tool tag over here you do get a little bit more sort of functionality or a little bit more customization with your custom tool tiers. But basically, that is going to be what we're going to need. So two of those tags. And with those tags, we're going to then jump into the item package and make a new Java class called the mod tool tiers class. We will add a new tool tier. Now, this is actually fairly straightforward. We're going to have a public static final tier. This is going to be a tier over here from the Minecraft world tier. I'm going to call this Alexandrite equal to a new forge tier, passing in the number of uses. So this is going to be 1400. The speed, I'm just going to put in a four over here. The attack damage is going to be a three. The enchantment value for Alexandrite, maybe like a 20 or something like that. Then the tag, and the tag is going to be the, this is the needs tag. So mod tags dot blocks dot needs underscore Alexandrite underscore tool tag. Then a supplier of an ingredient dot of, this is the, Repair ingredients, so mod items get, and then after this, the mod tags that blocks that incorrect for Alexandrite tool, and that is going to be the forge tier done. If you are want to see the values for vanilla tiers, press shift twice and look for the tiers class, include non-project items, and we can see the tiers class over here with all of the different vanilla tiers and their specific values. Highly recommended to take a look at this, then you can balance your own tiers according to that statistic, basically. And with that done, we can go on to our mod items class and oh boy, we're going to add all of the different items. This is going to be public static final, a registry object of type item. It's going to be the Alexandrite underscore sword. And this is going to be equal to the items deferred register, that register method, Alexandrite underscore sword. And then the second parameter is a supplier of a new sword item, new sword item, which takes in the mod tool tiers dot Alexandrite. Second parameter is going to be new item properties, where, and this is extremely important, we call the attributes method when we pass in sword item dot create attributes passing in the mod tool tiers again so alexandra again and then the attack damage which is going to be three and minus 2.4 f now where do those numbers come from 
I press shift twice again and look in the items class over here. This is the items class and I search for the sword item. Let's say we can see that the sword item attributes are always three attack damage and minus 2.4. Uh, I'm unsure why the create attributes like there isn't a generic version of this without these but it is what it is because the sword I mean you can see every time you have a sword item it is always going to be the same attributes you could of course also change those that's totally up to you but do be aware that usually a sword item has these attributes and the way to modify whether or not a sword is better or worse is via the tool tier right here right so you would just increase the attack damage right here instead of doing it on the sword specifically but in theory you could still do this and then we want to duplicate this one three, four more times, actually. And then we're going to go through this. So then the second one is going to be the Alexandra underscore pickaxe. Of course, changing the name both in the field right here as well as inside of the string. Quite important. Otherwise, we will get an error. That's the pickaxe. And here we want to make a new pickaxe item. And then here we want to use the new pickaxe item and also change the numbers to a one over here and a minus 2.8. All of the code, as always, of course, is available down below. So you can always double check if something might be wrong for you and something doesn't work or something like that. And the code is available down below. And we change the shovel item to the Alexandrite shovel, Alexandrite shovel, shovel item. Here is going to be the shovel item. And the shovel is going to have a, um, interestingly, apparently an attack damage of a 1.5 F over here. And then here is going to be a minus 3.0, interestingly enough. Then we're going to have the axe, which is going to be very interesting. Alexandrite underscore axe. And then this is an axe item. And then here we have the axe item too. So axe item create attributes with a 6 for the attack damage, but a minus 3.2 for the attack speed. And then last but certainly least is going to be the underscore hoe over here. Same with this one, the Alexandrite hoe. And this is a whole item. And then here a whole item too. With a zero for damage and a minus three for speed. Solidifying that this is definitely the worst tool of them all. Now that we have the items registered, let's get them all in the creative mode tab. That's an easy thing to forget. So I'm going to start with the sword and we're going to have the pickaxe. And we're going to have the shovel and we're going to have the axe. And we have the hoe. There we go. Those are going to be all of them added to the creative mode tab too. Then we can continue with the different data gen stuff. Let's first of all go to the mod block tag provider because, well, 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 we still need to add the custom tags that we have, right? So we want to say tag and then pass in mod tags dot blocks dot. This is going to be the needs Alexandrite tool. Here we're going to add mod blocks dot and let's add the raw one, right? So that we had the raw one in the diamond tool over here and we're also going to make it available via the needs Alexandrite tool tag. And we will also add the tag. So we're going to call the add tag method block tags dot needs underscore iron tool. So this is basically the way that we are defining it. So Alexandroid is going to be as good or in our case, actually just a little bit better than iron. Right. And then for, you know, some of the custom blocks where we could in theory add some custom blocks too, right. If we were to say, well, you know what, but Alexandroid could also mine obsidian, let's say, right. We could do this, right. We can say blocks obsidian. And then in theory, the Alexandra tool could also mine obsidian, right? That's just an example. So it would be as good as iron or just a little bit better, but it will always basically conform to one of the needs X tool tags, right? That's always going to be the case. And then here we're going to have the mod tags dot blocks dot incorrect for Alexandra tool, where we will add the tag of block tags dot incorrect for iron tool. No, not for netherite for iron. That's quite important that we basically have this the same. And then we're going to remove the tag from it, which is mod tags dot blocks dot needs Alexandra tool. So we're basically going to say, hey, so these are all of the different blocks that iron can't mine. And that's going to be the same for our Alexandra tool, except for all of the ones that we add to this tag that those are actually those will actually be mineable. And there you go. That's the whole idea. It is a little bit more confusing than I would like to myself. But it does give you, once you wrap your head around this, a little bit more control over what you want to do with your custom tiers. I do know that once again, you know, making a custom tier that's better or worse than something is not really possible anymore. Not quite, because it's it's a little bit it's it's a little bit strange, right? So there's no more like tier sorting or something like that. Um, that's all done via this. But with this done, we can go on to our mod item model provider. And here we will need a custom helper method because the 
are custom items. They are not basic items. No, no, no. What they are is they are handheld items. Very interesting indeed, because when you have a sword or a or a pickaxe in your inventory or in, in your hand specifically, and you put it go into three third person mode, then you will have a handheld item. That's quite important. So we want to call the handheld item over here mod items dot alexandrite sword, and we can do this a couple more times. Once again, here the method is also available down below, so no worries at all. So there you go, and we got the hoe here. And there we have it. So that's going to be our five different item model JSON files done. And then we can proceed to the Lang and the textures folder. Now, when it comes to the recipes, by the way, very straightforward, right? Literally, you can just use the shape recipe over here as there are no, you know, methods that make the tools basically create those tools. You can, of course, also create that custom method. It shouldn't be too crazy. Once again, it should just be shape tool stuff very or shape recipe stuff rather very straightforward indeed. And then we go to the lang, which gets the translation, should be fairly self-explanatory. You know, nothing too crazy over here. And then the textures, of course, which are also going to be available to you as well for download. That's going to be the axe, hoe, pickaxe, shovel, and the sword over here. There we go. So there's going to be five of those. And with that, we have everything we're going to need. So no, we don't want to run the client just yet. We first of all want to run the data so that we get the JSON files generated. And once that is done, well, then we can run the client and see our tools for the first time. All right, friends, we're back in Minecraft. As you can see, all of the tools have been successfully added to the game. And we can, for example, see I can make paths over here. I can even strip logs if I so choose. And of course, I can mine them right very easily. You can see all of the items work. The Alexandrite hole even Tills the soil, absolutely freaking fantastic. Right, I can mine stuff with a pickaxe. And what we can see is if I were to try to mine this, right, the raw Alexander with an iron pickaxe, this should not drop anything because that's what we defined. A diamond pickaxe should drop it. And now the Alexandrite should also drop it. And the same thing is going to work with Obsidian. Now, this is just going to take a little while because obviously, you know, it depends on how good your tool tier is. So once again, it's just going to take a little while. But if everything went right, then when I mine this, the obsidian should drop similar to how it works with, well, with diamond, basically. Let's just speed this up with the power of editing. And there we go. Didn't even need to use any editing because, as I said, it, the obsidian dropped. But yeah, that is going to be custom tools added to Minecraft. Pretty freaking cool, man. And as I've said, all of the code is available down below. That's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, oh, that's when we add a 3x3 custom hammer to Minecraft. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.